Now, if you were doing this in real engineering diagram, you might have hundreds of parts in here that you all need to label. So instead of using the balloon tool to do every single one of these, Inventor has this button right here called Auto Balloon. So first let's delete that if you did that one. Go up here to Auto Balloon. What this will do is it'll do them all automatically. So if we're going to it's going to tell us what it wants us to do. So right now it wants to select the view, so we want this assembly right here. Add or remove components. So let's just create a box around here. Now it wants me to select placement. So if I click this box right here, so it's going to ask me where do I want all these balloons. So this part you may have to play around with because everybody's water blaster is going to be a little bit different. So if I click right here, it's going to put them all right here in a row. If I put it vertically, it's going to align them all vertically. If I put around, it'll kind of put them all in weird little orders. So for this one in particular, the horizontal looks good. For this one right here, you can see I put it around and that looks better. So it all depends on how yours is. You just want to make it very easy to see which piece is where. So let's hit apply. And it's going to give me all of my part numbers that correspond to my parts list. If I need to move something, like let's put the uh, let's put this one over here. So you can just click it, that little green circle in the middle. I'm just moving it closer to where that is. Just to make it a little easier to see. So now I have all 11 parts all 11 parts, how many of them do I have, and everything. Some of these descriptions were already pre-filled in from the ones that I created, the files that we gave you. Some of them, if you created it, it might not have it. So if you want to add it into the description, so for example, our PVC pipes that we created, let's give those a better name. So let's right-click on our parts list. Let's go to Edit Parts List. So let's say these PVC pipes, let's call this three quarter inch PVC pipe and let's change the description to however long it was. That one was five inches. This one, 2.75 inches. This one, 18 inches, 12 inches. So we're just making it easier to see because this part number right here, it takes that right from the um, from the file name. So three quarter inch PVC, quarter inch PVC, uh, this ball valve assembly. Let's just put some spaces in there. Check valve. It's got a space in there. Right, so that looks good. So let's reapply. Hit OK. So now you could give this piece of paper to just about anybody. They could go to the store, they see exactly what they need, how many of them and everything, and they can build it. So now we want to turn this in. This is what you're actually going to be turning in on Classroom for this part of the project. So we need to put our name on it. Let's put our names in the top right corner. Let's bring this one down a little bit. So remember to move it. You have to get it so you get this little red box. You may have to find where it is to drag it. To put your name on it, use the text tool. Click the text. Click up here. So this is my name, this is my partner's name, and this is the period number. Hit OK. So that's how you add text. So now we want to turn this in. To turn it in, we're going to turn it in as a PDF file. So it's always a good idea to save your work. So file, save as, give it a name that you know what it is, hit save. So that just saved a drawing file. If it gives you errors, just hit OK. 
So that's a drawing file. That is not what we are turning in. We're turning in a PDF file so we can open it up and print it out nice and easy. So we go to File, Export, it's PDF. All right. So again, File, Export, PDF. This is what you're turning in. And then put your last name, your partner's last name, and Water Blaster. And then that PDF we just created, that's the file you're going to attach onto Classroom. And there you go. You can print this out, and you've got a nice parts diagram. You've got your Water Blaster all assembled. You've got a three-dimensional view of it. Good job.